MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news via video media. Nigel, we're here at McConnell, the home of the hedge cutter. Every hedge cutter I pass appears to be in McConnell. You seem to have great market share. Is this the case? Yeah, that's right, Joe. We've been in Lodley for just over 80 years now, I believe, and we are part of a massive worldwide group. We not only produce hedge cutters, but we also produce uh, cultivation equipment, toppers, and that sort of thing as well. Okay, and I see you've just bought a Mazak i600 five-axis machine? Yeah, that's correct. We needed to uh, change our production methods and introduce a different type of production for our hydraulic blocks really. Uh, design predicted that we needed to change, uh, we needed to speed up the movement on our machines and that's basically why we went for the, the i600 really. And have you used Mazak before? Yeah, we have used Mazak before, we're very happy with Mazak. They got a great backup service and we, and we had a, a Mazak VMC at the time so that's why we went for the Mazak again. And you've got this twin pallet five axis machine. How were you making these parts before? We were making them on a, on a horizontal uh, old style machine. But as I said before, the design changed. We needed to uh, produce compound angles in our new hydraulic blocks. And the Mazak, is, how much quicker is it? Oh, it's over, over twice as quick. Yeah, by four. OK, so we've got a design change. We needed five axes and it's much quicker. Yeah, that's correct, yeah. And we're very happy with it. We're hitting those targets now, and we've brought lots and lots of work back in house, so our inventory has gone down as well. So that's a, a double double win, really. And I noticed it's a twin pallet. It's actually the first i600 twin pallet I've seen. Yeah, Mazak came in offering that solution for us, which is perfect, really, because we needed to run it uh, 24 hours a day, really. So it worked out well for us. And what options did you go for in the machine? We went for the 120 tool option, Jay, because. Although our hydraulic blocks all look the same, they're very different inside. We also went for the twin pallet, which, which as I said before, works absolutely perfectly for us because we want to run it for 24 hours a day. Mm -hmm. Has it got high pressure coolant? It has got high pressure coolant, but I do believe that is a standard on this machine. In terms of the control, Nigel, do you program on the machine or offline? We do both, Joe mainly on the machine, but we have got the facility to program offline. The guys are getting used to the Mazatrol. It's much quicker, a lot simpler than uh, the old Fanex system, and they're really happy with it now. Some companies like to sell machines. If you buy a machine, that's what you get. But at Mazak, they like value-added, turnkey packages, etc. Was this the case at McConnell? Yeah, Joe, that's what we went for. We went for a turnkey package. They helped us out with uh, work holding, work with our, our uh, work holding company we went for. They also offered us a, a great deal on training as well. Two of our guys went down to Worcester uh, with, their, uh, with their main man down there programming for two weeks. And they've also come in after the machine was installed. They helped us with uh, six or seven blocks straight away so we, could, we were up and running. As a, as a machine at the deck, we were up and running. OK, and as you look to replace older machines at McConnell's, will they be replaced with Mazak's? Potentially, yes. We always we always go for um, to look around to see the best deal. Obviously, um, that's the way the world is these days. Um, but Mazak, I've come up trumps the last couple of times. 